It was exciting. I mean, lots of butterflies, really. I mean, I'm, I'm uh, excited to be here, and, and you know, it just kind of got real because <laughs> uh, we've got a short amount of time and a lot to do, but, um, but it was fun. It was exciting. It was fun to spend some time out there and not feel rushed or, um, you know, or, or, or just frazzled. I mean, it was, it was, we really did a lot of teaching today, and um, it was good to be out there with the girls for an extended period of time. Yeah. Uh, can you speak to some of the, the transfers that have, have come in, and Vivian, uh, Jada, just what impact maybe that you expect them to have this season? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, we're, we still have um, some waivers to win before there's some eligibility, in, you know, is declared eligible. But um, when we have a, a full team, I mean, those, in, those transfers are going to be very impactful. Um you know, unfortunately, Jada is um, out with an injury for the season, and uh, so is Jonna Johnson, um, and that's that's a blow to us. I mean, those two are definitely kids that could be very impactful. Um, you know, Vivian and Bryn are two transfers that are coming in that um, if, if they are deemed eligible and play immediately, they can have a big impact on us. I mean, of course, Vivian with um, – you know, just being the second leading scorer in the Big 12 returning is, is incredible. Um, and just, just the amount of tension that she garners on offense is, um, is incredible. And it really will help the others uh, be able to look for their shots a little bit more. Um, and then, you know, we've got three freshmen. We have three freshman post players that have come in that, uh, that are doing great. And they've got a lot of potential. They're learning. You can tell they're Heads are spinning right now, but they're they're going to help us in, in the long run for sure. Uh, Coach, what have you seen so far from uh, Lexi and uh, Cece? Yeah, um, Lexi is so consistent. I mean, her energy, her leadership, her um, her voice, everything, her effort, it's so consistent. And so I love, um, I mean, I've known Lexi for a long time, um, and and. I, I love that I'm getting a chance to coach her. She's definitely um, kind of our motor right now. I mean, she gives us energy. She's a, a really good talker on defense as, and, and offense as far as just kind of giving us that voice. She can score it in a variety of ways, and um, and she's she's hungry. You know, she's hungry to have a great season. Um, and Cece um, is, has, hasn't been in practice yet, um, but we're hopeful that she gets in practice soon um, just for some – you know, so for some health issues that we're trying to get through with her. But I'm excited about coaching her as well. Coach Herrick, obviously it's been a, a whirlwind of the past couple of months. How has that been for you balancing just moving to Lubbock and then getting to know your current players while also recruiting future players? Um, it has been crazy, if to say the least, but, um, but super fun as well. Um, I will say that I couldn't do it without my staff. I mean, my staff getting them in place and having them here to help me um, has been incredible, and, and it has been very, very helpful. Um, also, even just the support staff um, at Texas Tech. I mean, the, you know, Brenna being our trainer and, and Connor being our um, strength and conditioning coach, um, Harry being our SID. Um, I mean, we just have a lot of people in place that have been very, very helpful, um, which we need. I mean, I need all the help I can get. Um, but, but it's been fun too. I mean, it's been, it's hard to, um, kind of put it into words how you have to prioritize and everything is so important that you don't want to miss a step. And I, definitely this team that we're coaching right now is the most important priority that we have. Um, but as we all know, recruiting um, never stops. And so you, we've got to continue to do that. My staff has just done a fabulous job of, of staying um, in the recruiting world and the recruiting race um, while we're trying to get to know our players and, and um, just implement our program and our philosophy. So it's been it's been crazy and it's been hard to balance. And I actually haven't even moved here yet. I am though Saturday. <laughs> Throw that in the mix of everything. <laughs> and then with the long practice, how are you just seeing some of those pieces kind of come together? Like you mentioned the transfers and the girls that are already here. Yeah, it was nice today um, to see Maka um, step up as a senior, and you know she's. We've been talking to them about doing the things that they do best extremely well and then let us try to catch them up on some of the things that, that they need to learn how to do better. And Maka's um, 
leadership and then also just her um, athletic ability. I mean, she wins every sprint. She goes really hard for us. She's a defensive stopper. She's going to be a huge defensive stopper for us. Um, and so I was really, it was really fun to see her today in that role and just being very aware that that is her role and that she's responsible for bringing um, just, you know, just that mindset to us. Um, we did a lot of, like I said, some breakdown teaching of what we've been trying to implement over the past, um, you know, 25 practices that we've had in preseason. And it was, it was good to see some, some things start clicking. Um, we've got a long ways to go. I mean, there's no doubt um, we have a long ways to go, but, but we can do some things really well. And we've got some kids that can really score the ball. We've just got to figure out how to do that as a team. Yes, sir. Hey, how are you? I'm hey, good. Kind of speak a little bit to the to the skill set that you see from the team, from this team, and, and the things that you really like. Um, you know, after seeing these preseason practices and getting ready for for the start of the season. Yeah, we have a good nucleus of um, what I call tweeners, and that's like kids that can go between a, a guard and a post, so power forwards more or less, um, but they all have guard skills. And I think that nucleus is really tough um, because we can play them inside, we can play them outside. When we play them all together, it's kind of a positionless basketball. And, and um, I know that's kind of a new word that people are throwing around, and, and, but, but I do think that we've got three or four kids like that that can really score it. They have, they're great mid-range jumpers, um, jump shooters. They can shoot the three. Um, they do have guard skills, and they're tough on, in, on the low block. So I think it's going to be fun to be able to put them in some different scenarios and different lineups. Um, I've been pleased with our post play as far as um, just, you know, uh, the eagerness for those freshmen to learn. They could really get overwhelmed. And I, I think that Coach Eli is doing a really good job of, of just talking to them and kind of nurturing them through it and, um, and molding them through it. And we've, they're going to be beasts by the time they get to be juniors and seniors for sure. But we do need them to grow up in a hurry. Um, and then, of course, guard, you know, we look really guard heavy, but um, we have so many kids injured and, and kind of out right now that, that we are a little bit thin in the guard play. So we definitely need to develop that and, and be able to – you know, go to, you know, be able to play two or three guards, um, maybe three or four guards really, um, throughout the, the course of a game. And we're, we're a long ways from that. So, um, it's exciting to see the type of scores that we have, but we're going to have to be really creative in how we, um, get them the basketball and, and get some different shots up. Yeah, we should be able to release that hopefully um, maybe in, even at the end of this week, maybe um, first and next week. We actually had some things pretty much settled, and then um, there's some conferences that are still trying to figure out when they're starting. And so we lost a game this past week because they're starting late uh, or starting early, I guess, starting early, um, late December. Um, but, you know, we will open up on the 25th, um, so that'll be great, and, um, and we will – I think we will have um, six non-conference games at home. Um, so I think that will be good as well. Hey, Coach, Collier had to run away, but my name's Leah. I don't think I've got to officially meet you before. Hi, Leah. Leah. Yeah, I, you know, um, it was just conversations of getting to know one another, you know, of them listening to what our plan and our vision was um, for them to understand that, um, you know, that, that we wanted them to be Lady Raiders and, and they chose Texas Tech for a reason. Um, and, and they've been very, very positive. And I don't know that either one of them seriously wanted to leave. I think they just were antsy with the situation and, and who could fault them with that. Um, but they have definitely hung in there and um, they're, they're doing great. And I, it is super important for us to hold on to them um, just because they give us some stability in, uh, in a return factor. I mean, it's one thing to have a new coach. And so really all of these kids are brand new into what they're trying to learn, but it's another to have 
all new players that haven't played together. And at least, um, you know, CeCe and, and Lexi have played together along with, you know, Tuck and uh, Maka. And, and of course, um, you know, that helps in the chemistry as far as trying to, to put a team together quickly um, with newcomers and new coaches. Yeah, you know, it was it was great. I mean, I, I love seeing her out there, and she's being really vocal and starting to really um, help them. I mean, she might be the one piece that – that does know what I expect and what and what we're trying to do out there. And so she was being really vocal in that and being a great leader. And, um, you know, it's it's I kind of have to do a double take every once in a while. I love that I'm getting to spend every day with her. What is it like getting to see her wear the double Yeah. Awesome. She looks really good in red. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Um, you know, I hope that, um, I mean, we're going to have all phases of our game. You know, we want to play fast at times. We want to be able to control the ball at times. We want to be able to go inside and play power basketball at times. And we want to be able to shoot the three and, and be pretty guard-oriented at times. And and um, the way that our my offensive philosophy is is that it, it kind of flows into that. I mean, we have a primary break, a secondary break. We have – uh, flows into an offense, and we really try to teach all the phases of the game because um, so many of that we can't be all or nothing. Like I don't want to be an all or nothing um, program. I want to be or, or team. I, I, we've got to have a team that can compete in different scenarios. And so I think they're going to see some great team basketball. I think they're going to see us manage the clock well at times. I think they're going to see us score in transition well at times. Um, fundamentally sound and um, and just great team basketball. Thank you. All right, everybody, we got to hop off and let Coach Weld um, get on. But thanks for uh, dropping in, and we'll, we'll do it again soon. Uh, any uh, word on when you're going to be able to move into the Womble? No. I mean, it's hopefully mid-November. It's getting closer. It's definitely getting closer. All right. And, and then is there, a, <laughs> is there a concern for size with your team in terms of the – Yeah. Well, our bigs are young. They're young. We do have some size. We've got we've got three freshman post players, that, but they're just young. So yeah, we're going to have to do a lot of things and be creative defensively to be able to um, keep the ball out of the paint. But we have a couple of rim protectors. We've just they're just young right now.